everyone, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a little bit of an update. An update of last year's Sephora Friends and Family Sale and VIB Sale Haul. So I'm going to be showing you the things that I had picked up last year at those sales and just kind of talking about chit-chatting whether I'd recommend to you to buy them this year, like my thoughts on them, how things have transpired, and this, that, and the other things. So I'm going to link those two original videos, uh, both the Friends and Family Sale Haul and the Sephora VIB Haul um, from last year down below. So head on over and check those out because it's just fun to look back and see yourself and how much things have changed in a year's time. So I'm going to start off with what I have purchased from the friends and family sale. Now this was my first time ever shopping a Sephora friends and family sale. I didn't even know what it was. I have no idea. Oh, I know how I acquired the code. Um, for my friend Sarah, who at the time I was just a subscriber of hers and she was giving out um, her codes. And so that's how I had um, purchased it or no not purchase it but got the code so anyways the first thing that I had mentioned was this lipstick by Shiseido it's number RS347 these are beautiful the formulation on this lipstick is is fabulous it really rivals the new NARS formula for me I just feel like it is so creamy and so opaque just gorgeous I almost feel like I should be wearing this color today that really would go with my shirt what was I I should have put this on, but yes, if you have never tried a Shiseido, um, this is the Perfect Rouge formulation. They have a couple different kinds. Try this. This is a beautiful color, RS347. It's kind of like a rosy, a rosy pink. Yeah, definitely a rosy pink. It is just stunning, absolutely stunning. The, very comfortable on your lips, not drying at all. In fact, I feel like I need to probably pick up a couple more just because I only own this one. And I don't know why I haven't bought any since. I think I just, you know, you collect so many lipsticks, you forget what you have. So definitely would recommend picking that up. The second lipstick I had purchased was from Smashbox. And it's their um, Legendary Lipsticks. And it's the shade I picked up is called Vivid Violet. And in the tube, it looks much more purple than it actually is. Um, it's actually more, it kind of reminds me of like maybe something, I don't own Max Heroin, but I feel like it might be similar to that. But this is going to be more longer wearing. This is, the finish is kind of like a modern matte. It's kind of like a satin finish, but as you wear it, it, it turns into more of like, kind of like a matte, but not drying. It's very long wearing, um, very comfortable on your lips. And I like the fact that it's long wearing because I don't want to have to touch up. So, um, that color is beautiful for fall and winter. So if you like those kind of purplier. Uh, purple based um, deep berry shades then this is going to be a good one for you. The next thing that I picked up is the Tarte Off the Cuff palette and this was a limited edition blush palette but don't worry they have another one this year with a little bit different shades. I'm not going to pick it up because I have this one. I love this palette. I think it's beautiful. I actually it came with I should have grabbed it but if you watch my previous the, the, last year's video you can see the cuff that it comes with I wear the cuff all the time. It's cute. It's like a bracelet. And um, it is a bracelet, Chelsea. It's a cuff. Um, but I love this. It comes with four blush shades and then their bronzer, which it's their matte bronzer, which is really quite creamy. It's a lighter bronzer, but it blends out really nicely on the skin. Looks like that. Um, but the blushes are the same quality that is in their full-size ones. I love these. I love the color selection. You get a pink, a coral, and these two beautiful, like, darker uh, neutrally type shade so if you didn't pick this up last year or even if you did and you just like Tarte's blushes they really stay all day they are fabulous they are really nice quality definitely check these types of palettes out great for travel the, um, like I said the quality is there they last all day um, great gift for somebody because you have all these shades in one palette and I don't know I really really like it so yes definitely pick that up not this particular one, but this year's, I think, the pinup. It's called pinup. I can't remember, but anyways, it's on Sephora. Um, the Benefit Rockateur. Beautiful blush. It's super, super cute. Um, I don't like storing these so much because they do take up a little bit more space, but it's so cute. Um, this is a beautiful blush. I don't use the brush that comes with it. I'm not really a huge fan of it. I should probably just chuck it because I feel like it just kind of gets in the way, but it's a beautiful, beautiful blush. Um, 
how would I describe this? Well, on the cheeks, it has a really nice, this is a stain, by the way, if you're wondering what this is, that's the Revlon Kissable Balm stain. It legitimately stains. Um, it's, it's kind of like a, like a peachy, a peachy blush. Can you see that? My son is changing. Now that they change, you know, not they, now that we have the, what is it, the fall back, my, my time of day that I film is, the sun is off. So normally the sun isn't there. And anyways, I'm struggling with the lighting here a little bit. But do you see how it's just kind of, it has a really beautiful sheen. It's like a peachy shade. I wouldn't say it's a rose gold because I don't feel like there's that much rose in it. I feel like it has more peach, peachy gold than rosy gold myself. Um, but the sheen that it really gives on your cheeks is what I love about this blush. It's what makes me want to wear it because it's a very healthy glow type sheen. You wouldn't have to wear highlighter with it if you didn't want to. Um, okay, this next one is the one thing that I would not recommend to purchase. And I, this was my first ever NARS Duo. Um, I bought it in the shade Nouveau Monde. I um, cannot recall if I bought this in the store or if I bought this online. Um, because I know I had, uh, I can't remember, but it, had I went to the store, I would have picked something that would have been more everyday wearable. Um, not that these shades aren't, because they are. It's just, it's kind of an odd combination, is it not? Like a hunter green and a lavender violet. I don't typically wear these two shades together. Maybe that's why I don't like it that much, because I just don't use it properly. I like the NARS duos. I like the quality. I don't like all of them. Some of them aren't very good, I don't think, but... The colors are really pretty, I just don't wear them together, so it's it's kind of odd to bring. I guess you could. No one says you can't. Maybe they want you to. Maybe that's the magic behind it, but I just don't reach for it. I love these types of shades, and I love greens, but just not together. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't pay $35 again for this. I mean, yeah, you get the 20% off, but I just wouldn't. So, I like it, but mm, don't love it. Don't love it. Okay, this next one, though, I do love a lot. Um, I love it so much that... They just, Dior just released all their new ones, and I really, really, really want to get one of them. Um, this one is a grayish. I don't know why I had to look, because I knew what it was. And they also may have new packaging, so let me take the little brushes out. I recently spoke about this. What am I doing here? I recently spoke about this in my um, small palettes must-haves, and I think this is beautiful. I, I love the colors in this because you can create a warm look, but you can also create a really nice cool look. You can create a smoky look, an easy, simple, everyday look. Um, I love the, the pattern on these Dior shadows. It's just so cute. It's like a raised, a raised um, eyeshadow quilted type look. The quality of these shadows is really nice. They, they blend out really nicely on the eye, and they create really pretty looks. And so this particular one, grayish, I would definitely recommend if you are looking at um, some of those. I'm not sure if, I don't think they're planning on discontinuing this. I hope they're not. I could be showing you this, but eBay always has stuff. So always check eBay if something's discontinued. Okay, this next thing I had bought, this was right after these had just come out. The new Mark, not new anymore, but Mark Jacobs um, line had just come out last summer, fall. Anyways, so these were fairly new to me, and I picked up what at the time was the most unique one, and it's called the Starlet, and I do not regret it at all. Do you see that color combination, or the combinations of colors here? It's very different, isn't it? And that's why I picked it up, because I didn't want to pick up one that had shades that were similar to other palettes that I own. This one truly is unique. The colors in it are fabulous. They're so pigmented. I love this coppery one. And I really like this purpley taupey one. And I need to get a clean clean finger. This gold one is also just absolutely stunning. Um, the quality of these shadows is very, very creamy. The one thing that I don't like is that all the shades are... Oh my gosh, it's gorgeous. All the shades are... Um, shimmer shades. Why do I swatch there? It's so hard to, for you guys to see it. All the shades are shimmery shades, so there's no blending out shades or matte shades, but you know what? If you are a collector of makeup, I'm sure you have some sort of matte shade that you can use in conjunction with this, but I absolutely love this palette. Yes, it's expensive, but it's, it's unique. Okay, so that is everything that I had picked up at the Sephora Friends and Family sale. Let's move on to the VIB sale. The first thing that I picked up as soon as I seen this, I knew I had to have it, and this Let's see, out of everything, this, uh, as far as eyeshadows is concerned, I love this palette the most. 
Um, the Laura Mercier Artist 2 palette. <sighs> I love this palette. It's beautiful. Super, super creamy. I really was bummed about this year's how they threw like a blush bronzer thing in the middle. I don't know. I just was bummed about it. I really wanted them to create a whole new palette of different colors. Um, all eyeshadows. That's what I wanted, but they didn't do it. But this is beautiful. If you can find this anywhere, I would highly recommend it. If you love purpley shades, I would highly recommend it. They just blend and they're just beautiful quality and they're just beautiful on the eye and I think for the price, I think this was like $47 or something like that, it was just such an insanely good deal so definitely recommend that. I picked up this foundation last year um, and it is beautiful. I've actually been wearing it a lot lately. I've spoke about it recently in some Friday Loves. It's the Lancome Tinted All 24 Hour Makeup. This is a beautiful foundation. It's long wearing. It is definitely more of like a matte finish um, which is what makes it kind of long wearing or long wearing. It has SPF 15 in it. Um, I'm in the shade 260 Bisque, which is a neutral shade. Um, beautiful foundation. Um, long wearing. I like to wear a longer wearing fuller coverage foundation um, in the winter time. I know. It doesn't really make sense, but I, I don't know. I just feel like, especially on camera or if I'm going out and about with it being cold, I just feel like a longer wearing full of coverage foundation looks better than um, when it's really cold out and there's wind and your face gets red and all funky and stuff. I don't know. I feel like foundation like just, just keeps me looking flawless and perfected and I really like it. My first Becca blush I picked up was last year and it's Gypsy and it's beautiful. I do want more. I just don't like how much these cost. They're like 30 some dollars. Packaging is slightly odd. It's not my favorite. But the color inside is beautiful. This is like a pinky blush with, oh it's so creamy. Why do I not own more of these? With like gold flecks in it a little bit. It's just really soft and gentle. Yeah, it's like a pinky blush with little micronized gold reflex in it. It's just stunning. It's beautiful and with the sale then it's definitely can I justified it for sure but if you've never tried a Becca blush I would I would check it out I would definitely check it out I don't think they last as long as uh, like these tart ones do on me but uh, they're very pretty and they're very like if you're just going out for the evening and you don't need it to look you know fabulous all day or whatever definitely you know put one of these on your face I don't think you'll be disappointed the next thing I had picked up I do not own anymore and I returned it after using it or trying to use it a couple times. The Dior Fusion Mono Cream Shadow. I had picked it up in the color Chamir. It's like it was like a pinky champagne color. I just was not impressed. For the price, it was like 30 some dollars. It did not, it was hard to work with. It didn't blend out. It was kind of patchy. And I was like, man, my Maybelline color tattoos are way more fabulous than this Dior product. So I wasn't satisfied with it, and um, so I did return um, that product. But I picked up this cream. Let me clean it off here. Cream, let's see, Sephora Crayon Jumbo 12-hour jumbo liner, waterproof, in the shade Lilac Shimmer. This is beautiful. Beautiful color. I like, I do wear this with um, this palette, particularly the African Violet shade in here. Um, some of the shades in this palette are in their permanent line, um, the African Violet, the Plum Smoke, um, I think some of the lighter colors are in their permanent line, so you can buy those individually. But I wear this underneath those shadows. Do you see that? Oh, that is stunning. Gosh, I love it. <laughs> Actually, that would look really pretty with the purpley shade in this NARS Duo. Yeah, maybe I should do that. But anyways, yeah, check out these Sephora Jumbo Crayon things. They're nice. And with the 20% off, they're really affordable. And the last thing. <laughs> okay, funny story. The last thing I picked up was the Ocho Loco set that Urban Decay put out last year. Their um, eyeliners. I've used a couple of these once or twice. But I won't use new eyeliners until my current ones are gone. So, I have played with a couple of these a few times. Okay, we have a, an intruder, a visitor. <laughs> She's supposed to be napping today, but it's not happening. Um, anyways, I haven't really used these, like, religiously to tell you whether I think they're 24-hour lasting. Um, I love the color selection. I think they're creamy. I have used them in my waterline. They do not stay in my waterline. 
Um, I think you can always set your eyeliner with a shadow. And I always recommend that because I feel like that's that's what's going to make your eyeliner stay. But um, I love the colors that came in it. I just haven't really played with it too much because I'm OCD and I have to use up my per current liners before I can move on to new ones. So that is everything that I had picked up at the sales last year in my <laughs> thoughts on it, whether I would recommend it to you or not. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. Careful, honey. Um, and um, I'm going to actually start doing... Now that I've owned products for a year, I feel like I can really give you my feedback on it. Um, so I'm going to start doing throwback hauls once those hauls reach their one year anniversary. Just to kind of give you a heads up on my complete thoughts on it. Some of these things have appeared in favorites and others are just, I just have neglected or really need to use. So, let's tell them goodbye. Bye bye. <laughs> and we will talk to you guys soon. So, bye bye. Say bye, have a good day. Bye, have a good day. <laughs> bye, guys. Bye, guys.